She won't go inside and she'll say, I will not enter into heaven until every single person who cries for my son, Hussein, enters first. And then I enter into heaven. Hada Baba Hussein. It's the door of Hussein into heaven. And we are honored and lucky to have this door. Even Zahra waits for you to go into heaven. How much more honor can you have in your life than this? The month of Muharram is composed of two things which take us towards this Jannah. And you can't go through with only one of them. They are called Shura and Shura. We need both of them. And together they combine to make Baab and Jannah an open wide door. What are these two parts? Shura means grieving and mourning for Hussein The actual act of crying and mourning for Abdullah. We cannot mourn for Abdullah without this majalis. Matam, crying. Salam, Sosfani, Marcia, these traditions have kept Islam alive. And you cannot have Muharram without the act of mourning for Abba Abdullah. The hadith says in Ramja the Salih alayhi salam. He tells one of his companions, you know, if you recite the Musib of Abba Abdullah and you make 40 people cry, you are guaranteed Jannah. Do you know 30 people, Jannah. This is not even 30. Let's say you make 20 people, 10 people. Let's say you make one person. Let's say you only make yourself cry, Jannah. Another question says, let's say you can't cry, but you feel sad. It's still you get to Jannah. What does Allah say? If you are wanting to cry for Abba Abdullah, and you have in your eyes a small tear of the weight of the wing of a small fly, if you have even this amount, that one tear has enough in it to extinguish every fire of hell from you. One tear for Abba Abdullah. There is no way of going through Muharram until, until when you let go and you move for Hussein alayhi salam. Maybe you've noticed this. Hussein <coughs> alayhi salam and Karbala, the Majalis raised us. When we were children, we ran around in the Imam Bar. When we grow up, we come here. When you go through any grief or sadness, the one place you have where you can let go all of your trauma is the Majlis of Hussain As a man, it's very hard to cry. It's not known in our culture to cry as much and it's not easy as a man to let go. But when you come to Abba Abdullah, the greatest man is the one who lets go for Hussain What is this place except a place which lets you be your true self? You are going back home in the Majlis of Hussain and so when I say that we are doing shura, it means you truly let go of your senses for Abba Abdullah. And I'm Majnoon and I say, what does Abba still on shura? Hukul Hussain, Hukul Hussain has made me Majnoon. Madam, crying for Abba Abdullah. Waking up early, taking time off work. These are not the actions of one except the one who is in love with Hussain. So one half is this shura. And all of Islam was saved by mourning, not by fiqh, not by ulama, not by books. Madam, Azadari, crying. This saved Islam from the time of Banu Abbas until the time of the colonial era. Every time our enemies tried to destroy us, this morning saved us. I'll give you one small story how important this morning is for Abdullah. Ayatollah Khonsai, who led Namaz in Tehran for 25 years, every time he prayed in Tehran to Tehran, he'd say, Assalamu alaykum ya Abba Abdullah. Then he prayed Allah Akbar. Every time he prayed. Someone comes and says, Ya the old scholar, how is it possible? You are an alim and you are saying, Aslam alaikum ya Abba Abdullah before you pray. We never read this. Where did you read this riwayat? The scholar says to them, looking at their face, look at me. This amama, he says, this nibas, this mimba, this masjid, this whole marja'il, all of this land, all of it survives only and only because of Abba Abdullah. So how can I pray to Allah without first saying salam to Hussein? As-salamu alayhi wa Abdullah. And then he prays. Why? This is shura. All of Islam was saved by this one act of Abba Abdullah. They are shura. But there are two parts. Shura and shura. Shura is when you understand the message of Abba Abdullah. So for example, we can't just move for sin. We have to ask ourselves, why did Karbala happen? Why did he stand? What's the point? What can I take from the day of Ashura? What do I keep with me? 
Mao Tse himself admits why he's going on this journey. He says proudly and he says openly uh, when he's speaking about why he's leaving. He says, Inni ma akhraja, uh, inni ma akhraja um, asharan wa mufsidan wa ghaliman. I'm not leaving because I want to cause unrest or I want to cause uprising or mufsidan or ghaliman. Inni ma akhraja wa darba islah fi ummati jaddi. I am leaving towards Karbala for one reason, to do Islam, to reform the Ummah of my grandfather, Rasulullah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A true Azadar of Abdullah, Christ for Hussein, but understand what was his reform? Why is this all Muslims being fired? What are we trying to achieve? And they looked to the tenets of Muharram, knowing wanting to understand Hussein and Islam in a new light. I'll make one last point and then I'll finish to all of you. Beautiful one. Allah has two parts, shura, shura. Crying, warning, and understanding and tafakkur. You're all from London, you're from East London. I'm from London, I'm from South. Have you ever asked yourself, why are we in the difficulty that we are in? Why is it so hard to teach children about Islam? Why, don't they wanna, why are they not interested in this religion? Why is it becoming harder day by day to practice your religion openly? Why does it feel like the media is against us every time we gain a success they ignore us? Why, why do we have 25 to 30 million people mourning in Karbala and the media don't give us a single minute of airtime? Why, whenever we are standing for our tradition, they mock us and they make fun of us? Why is it the case that I can be proud for any identity in the world, but no matter I say I'm proud to be a Muslim, I'm degraded and I'm made fun of? Why is it hard to go outside in a hijab for a girl? Why is it hard for a guy to go outside in moderate Muslim clothing or with a full beard in certain communities? Why is it made fun of our names? Why do they make fun of our names that they can't pronounce it properly? And our culture? Why do we experience Islamophobia and racism step by step? The reason is because the world around us is changing and has entered a whole new era. The era is called the era of postmodernism. It's a whole new world. Everything which was right is now being treated as wrong. And everything which is wrong is now being treated as that which is right. We will not understand about dinner until we realize why are we facing the troubles we are in now and how can about dinner help us? And so from tomorrow, that's my uh, theme for the ten days of Muharram, which I'm not beginning from today. How can the reliance of Ahl al Bayt help us in a new era of postmodernism? What does that mean? What are the factors that are factoring on our difficulty? And how does Hussein al Ali help us every time we face a hardship in our modern life, being a Muslim living in London in the West? We begin that decision tomorrow, inshallah. But like I said, to go back to the beginning, a majlis has two components, shara, shura, warning and understanding. If we have both, I promise all of you, we can enter Babur Hussein together in these ten nights. And Babur Hussein makes a guarantee, this is the door that takes you directly towards Jannah. No other door can promise you this except this door of Hussein. You want heaven, you want goodness and afia and risk, Hold on to the Abba of Hussein and follow him towards Ashura. We pray inshallah we can all learn to follow this and practice and find Jannah through Muhammad. Salatul Allah Muhammad wa Muhammad. Let us turn now our attention towards Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam and remember that when Abba Abdullah this is his last moments. The first noise which comes from heaven is what? Ala qad qatila al-Husayn Ala qad thubiha al-Husayn Ala qad qatila al-Husayn is what? Indeed, Hussein has been killed, not just killed Ala qad thubiha al-Husayn Hussein has been slaughtered This noise comes from heaven But we are now coming to the days of Muharram Not only Hussein has been killed Look around him, there are family members, children, friends lying all around this one body of Abba Abdullah Allah wa ta'ala Hussein Indeed Hussein has been killed There is one body lying there With so many arrows in this body Neither it lies on the ground nor it stands This is the body of Hussein alayhi salam 
not just this body. There are bodies of 14 year olds, 15 year olds, 13 year olds, 12 year olds, all who have asked permission to die for Abu Abdullah. Here there is all and there there is Muhammad. There is one body which all the pieces have not even been gathered in one place. This is the body of Qasim. One piece is there and one piece is ahead. And if you look towards Furat, you see a body which said to Abu Abdullah, don't take me back yet. Why? I don't want Sakina to see my body if I have no water in it. It's the body of Abbas alayhi salam. All around the field there are burial members, one family, one friend, one child, one son. But in the middle of all of them, Hadar Hussein Qutlu at Shafi Karbala. This is Hussein, he's good when he's thirsty. My dear we have now come to Muharram, we've come to that time when we remember Abba Abdullah. Who is the first person who cries for Abba Abdullah before this child? Which person? And they say one day when Zahra has not yet given birth to this child, she goes to Rasulullah and says, Ya Rasulullah, is something wrong with me? Why? He says, Why do you say this? She says, Why? When I'm walking, I can feel this child crying in my room. Rasulullah says, Ya Zahra, why is this child crying? What is he saying? She says, This child says, Al Atash, Amma Al Atash, I'm thirsty, oh my mother, I'm thirsty. Why did he say this? Rasulullah says, Ya Zahra, this child of yours, his name will be Hussein, and he killed when he's thirsty. From now he's saying, Al Atash, Al Atash. But until the last moment, no one will give him water. They see Zahra fall, she starts crying. He says, Ya Zahra, don't cry, why? Today you are crying, and on Monday he will be alone. But one day a calm will stand. They'll dress in black clothing. They'll meet every month, every year, and they will come together and say, Abad Wallah, Ya Zahra, Ma'anitza Husayna. Ya Zahra, we the Azadar, we will never forget to mourn for your son, Husayn ibn Ali alayhi salam. Inna lillahi wa lillahi wa lillahi Right after the time it's time for dua, raise your hands in dua, Ya Allah. For the sake of our sadness, our grief, forgive all of our sins this Muharram, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, this majalis, allow it all to go smoothly and accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, all of those people who have left us and are here for this majlis, allow their souls to ascend to the level of the shuhada, Ya Allah. Our family, our friends, be haqqin al sajjad, let all of their illnesses be sought in this Muharram, Ya Allah. And finally, our children, for the sake of this majalis, let each child grow to be a follower of Imam Mahdi in his fight, inshaAllah. اللهم إني سلك بحق فاطمة وبها بعد يا بنيها وأستر وسعود فيها أن تسلي على محمد وعلى محمد.
کو آگے بڑھاتے ہوئے ہم گزارش کریں گے جناب دانیال صاحب سے کہ وہ ممبر پہ آئیں اور نوحے سے ہم سب کو غمگین کریں سلوات بر محمد و آل محمد
मजबूर हो गया कि धीरा जाया मजबूर हो गया कि मजबूर हो गया कि बेसहरा मजबूर हो गया कि गल जो 